Hi guys. All right. I am breaking down one of the most basic things because it was something that I was curious about. And so I just decided I'm going to do a video on this. And if there's only a few people who care, those few people and I see eye to eye. So this is a good time to subscribe. And I am going to continue giving you guys great content about Viking cruises for the Viking community and all those little nuances that you want to know. Definitely, definitely going to keep that coming, but also um, doing great content. Um, I think it's great. And all the little details for some upcoming trips too. So if you haven't checked out my video, um, depending on when you come across this one, I am going to uh, have some videos about my upcoming trip to Prague. And starting in a couple of weeks, I'll be posting probably daily from Prague, Amsterdam, Paris, London, just everything, all about the trains, all about all kinds of different places. I have some amazing food lined up, just all kinds of things. So um, anyway, that's a whole nother video, but just good, good time to subscribe. So this video is all about the title, How Do the Laundry Rooms Work on Viking Cruises? Is it something you should even think about? Do you want to know about it? Do you want to use the laundry? What's the story? What is the 411? All right. So I just have to start from my frame of reference. I am a big traveler. I never, ever, 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 ever use laundry when I'm traveling. So I'm not the person that's like staying in the week long you know, extended stays and like washing my clothes. And I didn't even do that when I had small kids. I just, it just wasn't my thing because it's not my idea of vacation. Who's with me? Okay, yeah. That said, I have a completely different opinion about this after going on the Viking cruise. And I'd like to tell you guys why. I am kind of over traveling with so much luggage and I travel I can't really underpack like I have to pack a good amount but I also realize that there's a lot of things that I wear over and over again that are like workout clothes excursion clothes I mean honestly I really just love having I like wearing a lot of like black leggings and black t-shirts and all of that and I don't need to pack eight different pairs of black leggings for a two week trip or four different black shirts or three different white shirts. I have found that I love a handful of the same types of shirts and I like to wear them. That's my look, it's my vibe. So um, I decided I was going to pack less on a trip recently and use the laundry machines that are on board. Okay. Let me just start by saying, here's a few things that you want to know. One, the Viking cruise line, um, on oceans in particular, but I think it's the same for rivers, there is no cost to use the laundry. So, frequently asked question number one, you have your answer. Two, you don't have to have laundry detergent. You're not going to have to go and find some little convenience store on, on board, which they don't even have that. <laughs> but if they did... You don't have to worry about buying laundry. It's already, I mean, um, laundry detergent. It's already a, um, attached to the machine. So you don't have to really bring anything extra. It's free. It's convenient. The laundry soap's already included. So you don't really have to like commit to being a laundrier, <laughs> a laundrador, a laundreus, whatever the words are. Um, but I did two things. I realized I was going to pack half of my normal recreation, excursion, walking, workout gear. I just packed half of it. And I also packed about half of my underclothes and pajamas. Because when you're on a two-week trip, at least the way I think about it now, some people might be different. They might be rocking that same like set of PJs for like 14 days. But I'm always thinking about here at home, I change out, I change out pajamas every day. 
I don't wear pajamas the same day, okay? Every, I don't wear them two days in a row. So imagine having to take seven, 14 pairs of whatever, or PJs or negligees, depending on what kind of vibe you're in, and underwear and socks and workout gear. So imagine how much your luggage weight goes down and how that weight on your back and everything goes down. And I mean, we're going through big airports, guys. Big airports. So you don't wanna to have tons of luggage. This is a way to cut down probably 20% of your luggage is just pack what you need and use the laundry. Now, tips on using said laundry. And I know some of you guys are like, oh my gosh, this should be like a quick video. I know, but you can just fast forward to the parts that you want. But some people really wanna know about this laundry. So I am doing at least a couple more minutes on it. But if you wanna hear about any tips, you can just speed through. Um, first and foremost, because the average age on a Viking cruise is a little older, you're probably gonna think, oh, I'm gonna wake up early and I'm gonna do my laundry in the morning and because that's when no one's there. Wrong, 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 wrong. Everybody is using the laundry in the morning because everybody wakes up early. The best time to use the laundry is around like six, right around dinner time, or at the end of the evening, like after nine o'clock, perfect time. So just giving you the tidbits there. Okay, a couple of quick things. Their laundry rooms are not on every floor. They're like on like three, five, it could be like odds. I, they might be on like three, five, seven, um, in the middle of the galley area. Also, um, there's only usually about two washers and two dryers so you have to keep that in mind it's not going to be like speed mart speed laundromat or whatever um and then you will want to maybe come back and reference this video when you're there but you will just need to look on the panel on the wall and you will notice that there are numbers that line up with the numbers that are on the washer up top and um i'm sorry washer on the bottom dryer up top because there's nothing that you operate on the actual face of the washer and the dryer. And I'm going to probably put a, I'm going to try to put a picture up, but the main thing is look for the panels on the side of the wall. You actually hit detergent in the number that you're in and the detergent automatically dispenses like from this cool wall pipe thing into your particular washing machine. So just know, look to the left, look to the panel, look and see what number you're in and the wall panel will coordinate accordingly. So anyway, guys, thank y'all for humoring me. I just think that this was a tip that I didn't see anywhere when I was curious about it. So I just wanted you guys to know it is worth washing clothes, cutting your luggage down, the things that you probably need to have multiples of, why not just go ahead and throw them in there, day three. But the last thing I was gonna say is, on my wind down on the very last day when we were pretty much sailing, I decided now that I'm a laundrier, a laundro, laundress, I actually washed pretty much all of my clothes and just took time like folding them and putting them back in my suitcase while I had wine in my room. And when I got back home, all of my laundry was clean. And I did love that because it wasn't such a dramatic drop back into reality when I got back home. So just a little tip, it's not a bad idea. Why not get all of that done? And then when you get home, all you have to do is put it away. Have a good, have a good, good, good weekend and happy cruising.